Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do a quick update on Move AI. Part of the reason is, is that I have been promoting it as a possible motion capture system and I was getting ready to do a deep dive into it myself. I actually ended up acquiring six iPhones and was ready to get going and there's a couple of things going on with it. My initial impression of it right now is that they can't keep up with the demand for it and I don't know why that is but if you try to go to move AI right now you'll just be put on a waiting list a long one too it looks like so here's a screenshot from someone that just tried to sign up and I don't know if this number is in order but it's 24,488 and supposedly if you refer more people to it you can move up on the waiting list I don't know why they're trying to bring more people in when they can't even manage the people that they have right now. So I don't know what's going on with them, if they're just trying to get cash or get subscriptions or whatever. But when Move AI started, it started out with the, the original premise was that it was supposed to be affordable and they would give you an option for what they said a dollar a day. So it was supposed to be $365 for 30 minutes of motion capture a month. So it'd be six hours of motion capture for $365. The other option they had is for $50 a month for 20 minutes of motion capture. Now that's not incredibly unreasonable, but all these changes, nowhere on the website does it explain anything. You just sign up and are given a waiting list number. There's no really discussion of cost. There's no discussion of when. And then you're directed to their Discord channel. If you go to their Discord server channel here, it's real hit and miss if you get your questions answered or not. Some questions get answered, some questions don't. It looks like there's just a couple people managing it. But here, right here, we'll see someone asked a question and said, Hi there. It is not currently possible to sign up for the multicam system. However, if you want to learn or hear more about how it works, feel free to contact us here, basically pushing you off to some website, you know, another link somewhere. So basically right now, if you want to use Move AI, just kind of forget it. There's there's a waiting list and who knows if and when you'll get it and get in or get an access or not. And what's interesting about it is that Move AI just finished saying that, and I kept a copy of this, but they had just published this showing that that the more cameras that you have, the better quality that you would get. So that's why I ended up getting six iPhones because I was going to try the optical system. But when I went to sign up for the 365 annual subscription, it's not available as an option anymore. The only option available is the $50 a month for 20, for 20 minutes. And I emailed them, but I never got a response to what happened. So there's all these changes going on but there's really no communication about all the changes. And you're just kind of left to sign up for a wait list and maybe you'll hear something, maybe you won't. You can go on the Discord channel, leave a question, maybe you'll get an answer, maybe you won't. And so it just doesn't feel like the communication is, is happening. And I don't believe that this is a good way to run the operation because I don't know how people are expected to just put money into it and then you know maybe you'll get some support, maybe you won't. It's just all hit and miss and it's changing so fast. So unfortunately, I'm coming to the conclusion that Move AI is just not ready for prime time yet. I think they have to get up to issue up to speed with capacity and figure out a way to have better communication of what's going on. This Discord channel thing is just to me a disaster and it's just no way to run a business. And so I don't understand they're apparently working on something called a move move one which is a single camera system but as I just showed you on that graph on the graph that you really even if you did motion capture with three phones it's just the same results as inertial system but to get really top quality you need at least six cameras so I don't know how they're going from six cameras now to one camera you know has the technology improve that much to where you don't need six cameras who knows there's no information <laughs>
And so I don't mean to be raining on Move AI's parade and or anybody's parade, but it's it's kind of frustrating to have this technology introduced and it seems so exciting. They originally had offered two free minutes, which I took advantage of, but now there's just like, well, you know, you're kind of just on your own, figure it out on your own, post on the Discord, maybe you'll get an answer, maybe you won't. And so right now, for if you're a newcomer, I would just say, you know, don't really count on Move AI to be a motion capture solution for you right now. It does not appear that they can keep up with the volume, sad to say. And so I'm on the fence right now about whether I should do the $50 membership subscription, but I'm tempted to because I do want to test it with the six phones. So I'll probably get just one month subscription just so I can run some tests to see if it's truly at an optical level of quality. But if you're looking to sign up for Move AI right now, it honestly looks like you're gonna get put on a waiting list and you may not even get access to the multicam system, which as far as I can tell, that's the one that you really need because you need all those different angles for the AI to compute, to compute all these, especially when you have more than one actor in the scene. So if Move AI is watching, I mean, please, get your communication system together. Just put it on the website. Don't force people to go to Discord and kind of muck around to see, figure things out. Just be, put it on, put it on the darn website. <laughs> so anyway, it's just an update, but, but I think you can kind of forget if you're a newcomer, just you're gonna to have to find a different solution for now. So anyway, take care. If I get more news or better news, I will update you, um, but as far as I can tell, they can't keep up with the demand. So anyway, take care and I'll talk to you next time.